Tell us a little bit of the difference between purines and pyrimidines. What exactly are they? Purines, as they break down, these are the proteins of cell building blocks. And purines are more known as, as they break down, as you build up or break down too quickly, can form through the xanthine oxidase pathway. They can actually cause more uric acid mm. accumulation. Yes. That's a big, that's a big item. So most of the gout patients that we see are sent either to a dietitian or just off the cuff or given advice. What kind of advice do you tell them? What kind of dietary things do you tell them to avoid? To limit high purine foods, because purines are more known for that. So the the foods that they're told to try to limit are excess of red meat. Mm -hmm. Okay. They have excess of sweet meats, sardines, seafood, but not so much fish. Some fish is yes, but anything that crawls on the ocean floor and has a shell has been known to be more triggering of purines. Oysters, uh, Oysters as well. Clams. Correct. Shrimp, hmm. lobster, all the different ones to that. But my patients ask me, can I have salmon? And I think salmon has shown that it, that's actually okay. 